Hello, I'm Muser Luz, and welcome back to Fallout 4 with Sim Settlements 2. Uh, we had rescued Jake last time, and uh, I think now, um, well, we get we get to go talk to somebody. I mean, we don't have to, but uh, I think we're just kind of waiting around for him to contact us again. Where's my paint? <laughs> oh, the, the, uh, the, the headlamp shows the paint. But not the rest of it. That's kind of weird. There we go. All right. That's a. That's not something I've seen before. But all right. I think we need anything from Carla. From Carla. Yeah. We need that quest too. Yeah, yeah. I didn't explore the admin area. Alright. <laughs> I guess we'll have to go back there at some point. Oh yeah, we tried to do that. And he wasn't appearing. two guys over there we didn't talk to. They probably have something they want done too. Uh, wait, well, well. Oh, wait a second. Time out. <laughs> Folk are starting to fortify Concord. I mean, it would make sense. But why is there only a gate there? Oh, there's one. Okay. And there's one over there. But there's, there's still openings everywhere. Oh my. So you just don't want to go through there. You just. Because this is open. See how it lines up. Um, it's not that house. It's this house, isn't it? Whoa! Whoa! Jesus! Why is everybody talking at once? Supposed to sit down, is that what it is? Oh, hello. We, we are go. so glad you could make the time to come and see us. Dad, look who's come to visit. Oh, right. 
if the hunter stole my trophy. Whiner. Hunting has been my life for so many years that I get a bit honorary when someone comes between me and my prey. Come on. Tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? I've been hunting ever since I could hold a rifle. But up until recently, I've never had a problem bagging my kills. But lately, nothing seems to go my way. And your death claw back there was the straw that broke this camel's back. Ruby and I have been traveling these parts to find somewhere safe to build a home again after our last one was destroyed. <sighs> Super mutants found our settlement and attacked one night. Danny killed four of them before we were overwhelmed and we had to get the hell out of there. They destroyed everything. Oh, don't cry, sweetheart. You know what kills me. <sighs> anyway, Cocker seemed like a nice and easily defensible place now that those raiders have been cleared. Daddy has heard about a few more trophy animals around these parts and has promised me he will retire after he has bagged them. Isn't that right, Daddy? That's right, darling. <laughs> well, it was real nice of you coming to visit, and we hope to be able to show you some impressive kills of our own soon. <laughs> Thanks for listening to our tale. We haven't had much in the way of friends for quite a while now. <laughs> this is a welcome change of pace. A and feel free to stay as long as you'd like. There's extra iguana soup if you're still hungry. It's Dad's favorite. That was... okay. That was what? it, huh? That's a lot of metal. <laughs> Piper's gonna... <laughs> Piper's yeah, gonna read her own newspaper, apparently. Back in there, yeah. Am I supposed to talk to them to find out what they are? I mean, oh, there's a note. Let's see. Major. Turn to Mirelark. Haunts a coast near Salem. Uh huh. Super Mutant Behemoth. Six lower into this? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. But at this point in time, which is what, 170 years or so after Fallout 76, would the Scourge Beast even still be around? Because they did. You know, have the uh, way to treat the or have a, a vaccine against the scorched disease. Okay, well, maybe we'll run into those critters at some point. Some bugle building. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. I mean, I gotta talk about so people about relocating. Yeah, we'll get there. 
I'm not even sure where they are. Maybe we should. Oh dear. Should check. Uh, let's see. This and that. And let's see. There's one. Way, where, where? Way on the edge of the map, huh? And the other's probably way. Yeah. Okay. Actually, Anton's not far from the Boston Bugle Building. And really, that one's not too super far from us. Maybe we should go over there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Bare fusion gore. Oh dear. This is Gorski. person didn't seem grumpy, it was usually a settler. Stranger, you don't excuse want to the pointed gun routine, but I'm not expecting a caravan today. So, why don't you tell me what you're doing here? I'm here to help you. Oh, help! I see. Is this the part where you helpfully donate some bullets? Maybe, maybe re relieve me of the burden of wealth, as if I didn't have enough. Wait, you actually sound like, like you mean that. Oh, uh, I'll be. Did that? Did the Ron actually send you? That's right. Great. And here I thought you were another problem walking in, but it turns out you're here to help. Huh, I, I have to admit I'm a bit embarrassed about the, the gun now. I'll just uh, put that away now. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Inside before it gets more awkward. Uh, my wife's better at making guests feel welcome after I pointed a gun at them. Okay.
came up with the plan, and she told Manta Man exactly what he needed to do. Super secret submarines, a cruise ship, and the mistress of mysteries. <laughs> now I know why you like this one so much. And there are the two lovely ladies of our humble manor. Jules, Katie, I have good news for a change. Looks like we have a place to relocate after all. Oh, thank God. I mean, welcome to our home. Make yourself comfortable. Can I offer you something to drink? Not sure if you'll like what's on offer, though. I've got fermented brain fungus beer, or glowing mushroom tea with an extra kick to it. I though, see. I guess it's kind of an acquired taste. Are you even thirsty? I probably should have checked first. I'm good for now, thanks. Probably for the best. It's still experimental. The brain fungus is either chewy like rubber or hard as a brick. The sweet spot between those is tricky. I suppose I should keep the glowing mushrooms for Radaway. If we're moving out this soon, we'll need it for the trip. All right, that concludes the introductions, the tour, and the formal welcome dinner. Short and sweet. Not much to look at, I know, but she's been home to us for a long time. I guess now that you're here, we'll be moving on soon. We started preparing weeks ago, when we uh, realized that the last crop wasn't going to get us through the next season. Still a couple things left to pack, though. Uh, if, if you're feeling impatient, ask Jules. She'll know what still needs to be done. You need anything from me? You ready to head out? Uh, mentally, no, but sediment doesn't make the crop come in any better. Trust me, I've tried that and about a million other things. If you're itching for something to do to speed things up, ask Jules. She can get particular about the order things get packed in. All right. All generators on Fritz again. At this rate. Excuse me. We're all eager to get going. We've got most of our things packed up besides what had to wait until the last minute. But the biggest problem right now is that my... I mean... Our Brahmin, Nessie, got out of her pen last night and, and, and wandered off. Any chance you could lend a hand and go search for her while we wrap up here? We should be ready to go once you're back. Alright, I'll do it. Great. Brahmin are creatures of habit. She probably wandered to her favorite pastures by sunshine tidings. You could check there first. Maybe look around for a bit. I doubt she went far. And watch out for blood bugs. Season's coming in early with the rains. I sprayed Nessie with repellent two days ago, but it wears off eventually. It's why I'm so worried about her. I see. Go find cow. Nessie isn't at Sunshine Tidings. Do you know where she's gone? <laughs> yeah, and it won't be in the pasture. Franklin the Martian took her. He's an alien, so he likes studying Earth things, like giddy-up buttercup toys, comic books, and Brahmin. I'm sure he didn't hurt her, so you'll just have to go and ask him to give her back and he will. Who is this guy? Franklin. He's from Mars. Has a spacesuit and a ray gun, but the gun is just for bad people. Raiders don't like aliens any more than Earthlings, so he needs the gun, but he doesn't use it on friends, I swear. And definitely not on Brahmin. Okay. If he knew we need Nessie today, he wouldn't have took her. Just tell me where to go. Okay. <sighs> I wasn't sure if you'd believe me. I'd go and get her myself, but you heard my dad. Take this note, and he'll know I sent you. That's Franklin not lives Lisa. under the old ranger shack. Nessie is super safe with him, but mom and dad really want to leave soon, so we need her back. It's not far. I can show you where on your map, 
and you don't have to be scared of him. He's a very nice alien. And remember, no need to hurt him. He's nice. Mm-hmm. Why am I staring at the ground? And, uh, let's see. It's that one. Yeah, okay. And, uh, why did your subtitles not match up to your, uh, to your voice? The one was very far off. alien, more crazy guy with a gun. Guess we'll find out. shipping container, huh? Interloper, in your ignorance you have invaded the sovereign territory of Mars. I am bound by honor to give you one warning before I take you to the Galactic Court by force. If you resist, I will be forced to use lethal force. Yeah. Supposed to be. I see your underdeveloped cranium is having trouble beholding the sight in front of it. I am proud citizen and soldier of Mars, and my name, translated to your primitive language, 
is Franklin. Who's walking past? Easy. I just want to talk. Ah, invoking the interstellar right of ambassadorship. Very well. You may make your case for your presence. Be warned. Transgressing against the sacred ceasefire will trigger the electro-neuromagnetic traps that will boil the brain of any human in the room. Good. Now I can get back to my rounds. A courier? Alright. Hey. Interloper. In your ignorance, you have invaded oh, the sovereign Christ. territory of Mars. I am bound by honor to give you one warning before I take you to the Galactic Court by force. If you resist, I will be forced to use lethal force. And you know, like I said, crazy guy with a gun. Easy. I just want to talk. Ah, invoking the interstellar right of ambassadorship. Very well. You may make your case for your presence. Be warned. Transgressing against the sacred ceasefire will trigger the electro-neuromagnetic traps that will boil the brain of any human in the room. We're not in a room. I have something for you. What's this? You have an offering for me? Usually humans bring me items for study. Not scribblings. Wait. Katie? She's... leaving? But I... I mean... I see the Chief Ambassador has... has... Uh, forget it. No point in keeping up the act now, I guess. It works better on children and Ken out raiders anyway. Mm -hmm. So, Katie couldn't come out here herself. And that's why she sent you, Vanessi. Yes. That's right. The smelly thing is all yours. Good thing you came. I don't know how much longer I could stand around smelling a fertilizer. Yeah. And, uh, sorry for the act earlier. I've gotten kind of used to it. But I guess it won't be the same without Katie around. Doesn't like me very much after some of the experiments Katie thought would be fun to play at. But you should follow you back to the farm without a fuss. I'll miss Katie. Take care of her and her family, will ya? Do you want to set up a permanent shop? I know the perfect place. For real? I didn't expect you to say that. But a permanent place sounds amazing. Yeah, I can see it now. Franklin's Fine Martian Wares, or Franklin's Emporium of Galactic... No, too long. You've got yourself a deal, human. Uh-huh. I... Okay. I assume that's Nessie pretending to go back. I assume you want something. Excuse me. I got a letter for you. From who? Some old guy. Sorry, didn't catch the name. Thanks, I guess. Oh, you're welcome. You have a nice day now. All right. The old man and the gun. the Martian store at some point. I'll probably forget about it before we get back somewhere.
Hello. Katie's parents. You're Franklin? From Mars? I guess I can see it with the, uh, the suit and the eyes and the gun. Uh, yeah. It's not really true. I'm a ghoul and not an alien. No shot. Sure. can see. I'm sorry for lying, Katie. It's all right. I already knew that. I'm not dumb, you know. I've seen nice schools before, but it was so much fun to play, wasn't it? You're a smart kid, Katie. I guess... I guess I needed to believe I was Franklin from Mars. More than you did. Uh, this is all very nice, but what about my... our Nessie? She's back in her pen, safe and sound. And I'm sorry for taking her in the first place. I was going to... Franklin! Don't say that. Mom, Dad, I was the one that took Nessie out of her pen. I tried to go and get her back, but you wouldn't let me go. And you should have told us that right away. What were you thinking? I was worried sick about her. Mr. Franklin, thank you for keeping Nessie safe and bringing her back. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about you playing aliens with my daughter. She is a very special cow. In fact, if you figure out how to make her milk glow, Maybe we could team up. Things that glow sell faster. Glowing Brahmin milk? Improbable, but I doubt anyone's tried before. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad she was abducted by an alien instead of wandering off by herself. And Franklin is... interesting. I always knew Katie was too smart to get that carried away with make-believe, but I wasn't expecting this. He's definitely on to something with his branding, though. I've seen caravans cash out for less. I'll definitely talk more with him on the road. Speaking of, we're all packed up and ready. Are you all set? Yeah, what's your weird thing about the Brahmin? Absolutely. I'm ready to go. So, where are we heading? Sanctuary. Yeah, sure, Sanctuary. Well, hello. I can't believe you convinced him to come with us. You're amazing, you know that? This will be so much fun. Once I'm not grounded anymore, anyway. <laughs> True superheroes never ask for a reward, but they always deserve it. I went and grabbed all this stuff from my secret hiding spot for you. Here. Thanks. All your stuff is 98 battle caps, huh? Why is there a death claw right in front of us? Is there an almost dead death claw in front of us? the spots where there's been a death claw fight? Apparently. I mean, it's the weird. Just, I don't know why anybody would be over here, but alright. Okay, let's... There's old Paul. Where's old Paul? What's the other thing on the map? 
back and say, okay, Sunshine Tidings is where Paul is, I assume. Yeah. What's the other thing? Oh, yeah. The other guy. Shop Piper. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you deal with that one. Enjoying the incinerator a little too much. Hmm? Oh, wow. Uh This is the first time we've been back here since we set it up. Well, hello there, youngin. Does these old bones good to see you again? Keeping safe out there in the waste, I hope? Yeah, sure. I try to be? I suppose it's as much as anyone can do. Really. Still, whilst you're out and about, keep your eyes peeled. Would hate to see you come to a sticky end. <laughs> anyway, I won't keep you too long. I know you're real busy these days. I just wanted to give you this. Here, take it. It's all yours. Margaret. Made it myself. Very special. Should help keep you safe. Consider it a thank you. Not only from me, but from all the people your ASAM sensors have helped. It's a thoughtful gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome. You're doing important work out there. A lot of people appreciate it, even if they don't say so. Oh, uh, one more thing. Making that rifle brought back a lot of memories. Made me pine for my gunsmithing days. Mm -hmm. So uh, I started thinking. Maybe I'll build me a new store in one of your settlements. Get back into the firearm business. I'll keep you informed of my progress. Okay, now I won't keep you no longer. Safe travels. I'm fairly surprised you didn't ask me for something. Okay, let's check this out here. Weapons migrate. It's a hunting rifle. Forty-two damage. I mean. I suppose we could probably fix it. Fix it up. Let's see.
kill this guy. I remember that. Super well for you guys. What are you? Stodge. What? Right. Wait, was he the boss of the Raiders from before? Yeah, that might be it. It's, it's been a little while since we did that. Oh. Sure, it's gunners. Oh, hello. Who is shooting you with a gun? Where the body went. Let's see. 
nothing useful up here. I say probably not. Oh, there's some more jerks. Thing we can carry a bunch more stuff now. Tally ho. Shouldn't be very high level, so. Trigger vendor and more aluminum. Steel. for either one of you to uh I mean, you know, standing there was you know a nice try but feather duster Coffee cup. 
to load up. Should be okay, but we can see what we can do with this uh, hunting what? rifle. A bunch of junk. end up with the hiccups when, when I play Fallout. It's very weird. Hey, Where? you say the word. Here. Okay, we're going to Big Jim. And... Uh... I'm going to this hunting rifle. Okay. Can even use Big Jim if you really want. Progress. My real question is, do we have to make the special plot ourselves? Probably. Why is everybody gathered right there? Let's see. Uh, buttons. Uh, some 
settlements. Do anything more with this, can we? No. I mean, dude, there's the kind of blade that's powerful. But it's the same, except, no, oh, better critical shot and accuracy. So we would need a powerful automatic, but we need rank 4 for that. difference being, but we need gunna for for that as well. And we're out of screws. Right. Um, and this is pretty sure this is everything we can do with it. Change the lens. Should we do that? Yeah, well, let's do that. Okay. Oh, we do have some meat. Where we leave off for now, uh, we rescued a cow and got a gun, I guess. And, um, you know, we will uh, continue on from here next time. But, you know, for now, I'm your Zero Lewis. And this has been uh, Fallout 4 with Sim Settlements 2. And I'll see you later. Um, bye. <laughs>